Hi everybody, this is Julian from Hugging Face. In this video, we're going to continue to explore Auto NLP, the Auto ML product built by Hugging Face. I've done a few videos on Auto NLP before, and this one will focus on a different task type. Here, we're going to fine tune a text summarization model. So summarization is a common problem. We all have mountains of data and documents living in data lakes uh, on the web. And uh, it's very useful to summarize them, maybe because we just want to quickly understand what the doc is about and whether it's the one we're looking for or whether it's worth reading. Uh, and maybe we just want to have a short description uh, and store that in the back end and run uh, downstream tasks on, on that data. Anyway, lots of reasons to summarize data. So what we're going to do today is we're going to start from a data set called the Reuters data set, which is, of course, available on the Hugging Face Hub. We're going to quickly look at it, uh, process it just a little bit in, uh, in a Jupyter notebook, and then we're going to feed it to Auto NLP and see what happens then, right? So let's get started. Here is the Reuters data set on the Hugging Face Hub, and uh, we, can, uh, we can preview the data set which is quite convenient. And as we'll see, we have, we have a bunch of articles, quite a few articles, actually. Uh, we have some additional features, topics, you know, IDs, etc., etc., And we have a title, okay? So here, I'm really only interested in the text and the title. And I'm gonna use the title as a summary. So this is the, the data we're gonna, we're gonna train on, okay? And well, as you can see, there are quite a few. So this is an interesting data set. It has a lot of uh, finance information, um, uh, you know, stock market information, etc. And so we'll uh, once we have a model, we'll actually try to summarize uh, finance news articles and and see how well that works. Okay. So here's the uh, here's the data set we're going to use, right? Um, we have a training set and a test set, and actually we have different uh, splits for those. So it doesn't really matter which one we use here. Okay, so this is the data set, right? So let's go and, uh, and download it uh, and start processing it just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to switch to a Jupyter Notebook here. And this is running locally on my machine, by the way. Uh, it's not compute intensive at all. So first of all, uh, I'm going to import the datasets library. I'm going to download it uh, to my local machine, right? It's not huge, it should be fast, okay. Okay, so now we have the data set locally. I can check it out. So we have a training set with 20K something articles and we have a test set. Okay, so as mentioned before, I'm only really interested in uh, the text and um, and the, the title, which I'll use as a summary. So I'm going to drop all those columns. And as you can see, I'm using the dataset API. Uh, if you're happier with pandas, you can use pandas. Uh, you can very easily convert a dataset to a pandas data frame. There's a two pandas API, and then you can, you can do that. But this time I wanted to show you the, the dataset API, right? So drop columns, and I'm going to rename um, the title column to target, which is what the model expects. So as we'll see later, uh, Auto NLP actually lets you map columns to, uh, to features. So not strictly necessary, but again, um, just a simple way to show you that uh, rename column API. So let's do this. And so now we can see one uh, training example, so the text and the target. And as usual, that data is just a little bit weird. Uh, we see new lines characters, we see um, way too many <laughs> white spaces, and we see some funky HTML tags here. So we need to do a bit of cleaning, right? So I'm going to define a cleaning function uh, and I'm going to go pretty easy on this. I'm going to drop uh, new lines, replace them with uh, a white space. Same with tabs. 
I'm going to remove all commas because we're going to store this file as a CSV file, which is what, what um, Auto NLP expects. Okay, so remove uh, commas and um, just remove, uh, yeah, uh, quotes as well, which could be a problem. So, uh, yeah, simple quotes, double quotes. I mean, just that, that stuff needs to go. And there is... Uh, apparently, every article ends with Reuter, uh, either, you know, uh, capitalized like that or in, in full capitals. So there's not a lot of value in keeping that. I'm not sure it hurts, but let's remove it anyway, right? Okay, so clean a few things here. Uh, then I'm going to drop all the uh, extra white space. Again, not strictly necessary, but let's... Uh, clean up that data anyway, so that will just uh, remove all the extra white space here. And in the target, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove all those weird um, HTML tags, which actually correspond to uh, ticker codes, right? Stock quotes, uh, and just make sure we have uh, the appropriate characters. So there's probably more. I mean, I, I took a quick look at the data, but these are the the main problems that I saw in there. Okay. Maybe there are more. Okay, so that's my cleaning function. I can very easily apply it to the data set, just like that. Um, and of course, here I'm going to do the training set and the test set in one go. Okay, so let's go and, and apply that. Okay. Good. And now if I check that example again, looks a little nicer. Okay, so let's, let's call it a day on data cleaning. I'm going to save the data set to disk, uh, and I'm gonna save it. So that's uh, gonna, gonna be saved in um, uh, in Hugging Face format, so Arrow files, right? And I'll also need CSV files, right? So Auto NLP will only need the CSV files, but it's good to have a, an Arrow format copy so that we can uh, push it back to the Hugging Face hub, and, and later I don't have to go through that processing again uh, I could just go and, uh, and fetch that process version directly. Okay. All right. So now we have our files, which we probably see here. Okay. So we see the processed versions here. Okay. And of course, we see our CSV versions. Right. So now we're ready for Auto NLP. So let's go and do that. All right. So let's create a new Auto NLP project. Right, so of course I've already run this because it takes a few hours, but I'm going to show you the steps, launch the the project, and of course we'll jump to that one to see results. Okay, all right, so new project. Uh, let's call this one Reuters demo. Task type is going to be summarization. We'll let Auto NLP pick the models. Dataset is in English. We'll train. 15 models, why not? And move on. Okay. And of course, I need to add my data, right? So the text should be called text, the target should be called target, but again, we'll be able to map the data, right? So let's go and uh, find those two files. Okay, so this is the training set. So I'll use it for training. Right, if you have a single file, you can just select auto and auto NLP will handle the splitting for you. So text is called text and target is called target. Couldn't be simpler. And of course, we need to do the same for the validation set. Okay, text and target, good to go, add. Okay, so we're good. Now we can start training. We have a cost estimate, right? So if that's not all right, you can stop there. If you're happy with this, launch training. Yes. So after a few seconds, um, the training jobs start. So Auto NLP has picked the most interesting models on the Hugging Face Hub for um, summarization. And it's launching, uh, it's launched actually 15 jobs that will start fine tuning on my data set. Uh, using uh, well-chosen hyperparameters, right? So this will last for a while, um, and I'll leave that one running. And of course, once those jobs start reporting metrics, we'll see them here. 
But again, in the interest of time, we're going to jump to uh, a final training job. Okay, so this is the one I ran uh, a few days ago. So we saw a lot of jobs actually were stopped because they were not very promising and you don't get charged for those. Okay. And we see a few uh, a few jobs made it to the end and the winner is this guy, the donkey has won. Right. And we can see the metrics here. Again, it won by a pretty large margin. Uh, we see the uh, rouge, should I say, or rouge. <laughs> scores right uh, which are um, metrics for summarization right you may be familiar with bleu <laughs> metrics for translation so it's kind of equivalent and they're a little bit difficult to to interpret but of course higher is better and 55.9 is actually um, is actually a pretty good score I think right and so in a nutshell this measures um, uh, the, the, the proximity between um, the actual uh, label, so the actual title for that article, and, and uh, the predictive title, right? So uh, Rouge 1 looks at individual words, Rouge, Rouge 2 looks at uh, word pairs, etc., etc., right? You can go and figure that out. Okay, anyway, that model, uh, uh, the donkey model 1, right? So we can go and see it on the hub okay yeah just click on this thing here and we see the model all the auto nlp models are automatically pushed to your uh, to your account on the hub right so we have a generated model card we can see the files here and that's a git repo right which we could uh, of course clone uh, and we will clone actually later on right so and that model was actually the a Pegasus model, which is a, a Google model, right? And okay, let's quickly try it, right? So let's go to uh, let's go to this and let me pull a few articles and we can see how well we do here. Okay. Okay, so I've got a couple of articles. The first one is from Yahoo Finance. So let's just go and grab the article here. Yeah, I guess we can stop here. And we can immediately test this using the uh, the inference widget and click on compute. Okay. So we need to wait for a few seconds for the model to load, all right? It's uh, all done on demand. So let's wait for a few seconds and we can see the results. Okay, so the model has been loaded and we see the summary for this and it's actually very good right us medicare premiums rise on alzheimer's drug which is really exactly what the article is about and it's funny that i think the summary is actually um, more precise than the title but you know i guess the title it needs to be uh enticing right they, they want you to click so uh, they're not going to give you the the answer, right? It's like, oh, why did premiums soar? Well, okay, that's the title, but the summary really tells you why. And the summary tells you they rise because of a new Alzheimer's drug, right? Okay, let's do another one. So this one is from Bloomberg and it's about the ECB, right? So we're going to go and use the full text. Let's delete this one and go and predict right so the model is loaded now so that should be that should be reasonably fast okay economic spotlight euro central bank sees risk okay and this told us that okay the title was ecb warns of market exuberance as economy recovers from pandemic okay so it's it's actually a good summary as well right um, and here, here we, you know, we use uh, 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 presets in the inference widget. But you could generate, you know, shorter summaries, longer summaries. Uh, it's actually something you can control uh, when you work directly with the model. But again, these are really just two random articles, and uh, and the model seems to work pretty well. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you and uh, go and try it. And if you have questions, uh, leave some comments and I'll put some links 
uh, to the model in the video description so that you can try it for yourself. Okay, thanks for watching. And until next time, keep learning. Bye-bye.